Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. Please do take whatever does resonate with you and just leave the rest of it aside. If you do have any questions however and you would like to contact me please do so. You can find all of my information right below into the YouTube description box um, and it will be my great pleasure to assist you mate before a question or a reading it doesn't really matter. Please do not hesitate. Also, if you do enjoy the channel, you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it is always greatly appreciative, and I do thank you so very much. Also, I would like to thank all of these subscribers who have donated so um, generously to the channel. Um, I appreciate and I do thank you so very much and thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you for being there and commenting and participating into the channel. I value every single one of you. Thank you. Um, so with no further ado, Let's begin this reading. These are messages coming from the universe. Now, I do have four messages. I would like you please to take whatever does resonate you with you and leave the rest aside. So within these four messages here, I have orientation followed up by some discernment. I have anticipation and we're going to conclude this with revelation. So uh, not revelation, but revolution. Let's start this out with a little bit of orientation. So the message from spirit here is about coming to bring you the gift of orientation and it is truly a gift to help you onto your path to help you find you where it is that you truly should be and want to be so when you look into you know um when you look at your path where you look about where it is that you want to go you need to ask you need to um you need to look up to the universe you need to ask the universe to remind you of your deepest truth right now and one of those truths is that we are all just one. Now, we might look, everybody might look at, you know, different from one another, but deep down, we're all the same. This is about caring less about what others think about you. It's not important. Um, and more about yourself, about you and being a natural part of the whole. You need to open yourself up to a path of synchronicity. And as you surrender into... And just as you surrender into your path, into your life, into your joy, into your happiness. Don't think it out too much, okay? Allow the certainty within you that everything is connected in one single unity. And that all things happen in the exact right timing for everybody to reassure you that there is no way for you to be outside of the stream of life. It is simply just not possible. So let me ask you for a question. If you do want to have a little bit of time of contemplation and ask yourself some questions, um, ask yourself, listen to your soul. Are you feeling lost? Are you feeling alone? Are you feeling out of sync? Or you may be uh, constantly trying to control, to define, or to regiment your life. And when was that last time that you felt that deep sense of unity? Like you were just into the flow, you were connected to all of life. Where were you and who were you with? Let's move on over now to the discernment. And here is a message of discernment. Now, the message here is about you um, trying to wake up. Okay, it seems as though maybe on some places here within your life, you are repeating the same mistakes. Is that a possibility for you? It might not be for everybody. For you, perhaps. Um, where are you refusing to listen or to accept the consequences of your heart's truth? Now, you're going to be surprised at how courageous you are. And once you begin to be honest with yourself, it's just time to start listening. To who? To yourself and to others, of course. So learn the art of discernment. Listen beneath the words. Listen for the deeper desires, your emotional agenda, and just all of those underlying tones. Listen beyond your own individual story. Because there is a grand mythic human drama playing out in your life right now and all around you, and we're all part of it. We're all a version of that underworld, if you want. We all carry that wand of a wizard, that sword of a warrior, the potential for that happy ending, and that is all what we are looking for, right? And as you begin to see that, you know, that mythic quality of your own rich human life, your optimism, it is going to grow. It's going to grow right along with your beautiful empathy, your compassion, and your beautiful potential. So this is about you knowing that you're not alone, 
the universe is there for you and it's really about taking that beautiful potential and moving on forward. Let me ask you if you do want some questions for contemplations, ask yourself where are you trapped maybe in some self-destructive cycle? Where are you starving for that empathy from yourself or from others? Ask yourself those questions please. Let's move on over to a little bit of anticipation over here. Now the anticipation message comes when it's time for a new experience. A new world or a new life chapter is simply beckoning you. Every single cell in your body is intricately linked. Every single one. And just as every impulse within you is communicating to the whole of creation, if you listen carefully now, you can anticipate what's coming as what it is that you truly need. You hold the key to your dreams in your hands in your responsibility to turn that key it is yours but you need to remember that you're not here to manifest your dreams on your own you need to allow others to participate with you you need to rest when you need it don't overdo it but don't underdo it do not expect things to turn out exactly as you imagine then embrace the thrill of that beautiful anticipation in your life So let me ask you for some questions here. Where in your life do you tend to feel maybe too full or maybe too empty onto the opposite side? Or do you tend to go back and forth between the two? Do you fantasize a lot but have difficulty making these things happen? Or are you so driven to manifest your dreams that maybe you've kind of just burnt out? Moving over to your final message now. And this is about the revolution. Now this is about welcoming to the peaceful revolution. If you long to bring harmony to your community, begin by being patient, by being gentle, by being compassionate. And you need to do that, you know, with yourself to begin with. Give your feelings time. Give yourself some space and plenty of creative outlets. But don't judge them. Because when you do that, okay, don't judge them for when you do, you create that internal pressure. That intensifies the feelings and the impulses to simply act them out. So rejecting yourself, it only makes it more difficult to see objectively. Soften your heart, understand the others and see the possibilities for that beautiful resolution within your life. And if you have to rebel, then rebel against your own impulsive to attack, to attack anyone. And when you resist that urge to react based on your emotions or to be violent towards yourself, you are doing your part to end that violence into the world, into your world. Be a revolutionary, not a reactionary. So ask yourself, do you prioritize harmony over aliveness or depth or honesty? And do you often push people away before they actually just come a little bit too close? Or do you reject people before they actually have a chance to reject you? Hmm. Now, the next time you feel emotionally triggered and you're tempted to react, lash out or reject at somebody, ask yourself, please, am I feeling rejected? Am I afraid of being rejected? And that is going to end this reading. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I do hope that the universe brought you some very interesting messages that you will be able to use. If you have any questions, you would like to contact me. All my information is right below into the YouTube description box. I wish you the most beautiful day. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. And many blessings are sent your way. I will see you tomorrow with new messages. Many blessings to you.